A great biology practical you can try at home, guys, is turning white flowers into coloured flowers using just some everyday items you have at home, which is food colouring. So this works best with white flowers, so roses or carnations, which you can pick up at any supermarket. And all you need is a glass and some water and any colour food colouring. Nice and simple, this one. Pop some water in your glass, add a little bit of food colouring, and then just snip a couple of flowers into the food colouring. So it's always best if you just snip the end off and you can put as many in as you like, and then you need to leave them for a day or two. Now, what actually happens is inside the stem, there are two vessels, one called the phloem and one called the xylem. And the xylem sucks up the water in what's called the transpiration stream. And as that's happening, because we've coloured the water, instead of plain water, colourless water getting pulled up through the stem, in this example, it's going to be red water. So let's have a look at how that looks close up. Okay, so you can see here, we've got three different ones. I've got two blue ones and I've got a red one. The blue one has been left the longest. And if you look really closely, those petals are starting to turn blue. And the red and blue one that's in the conical flasks, you can really see that those colours have started to build up. So when these flowers bloom, so when they open up, those colours will go through into the petals. I hope you have fun. Please send us some pictures of the colourful flowers you can make and may even research how to make a rainbow flower. And I'd really like to see pictures of those. Challenge yourself and I look forward to the pictures.